welcome back to my channel. Um, we are going to do the Lorella subscription box. This is for March. I signed up initially at the end of the month, so mine ships out around the 28th. So by the time I get it, we're obviously we're into April. But if you want to see what I got for March, uh, stick around. I will go over pricing and then I will link them down below if you're interested in signing up for April's. I haven't looked at what the spoilers are, but the box so far has been pretty good. I really like it. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed if you're not already and let's okay. jump into it. I want to say this is around 35, something like that. And it's going to move some things like five to seven or seven. I don't know, something like that. It's all full size, but it's Morella brand. But I really liked the first box. This is my second box. Again, I will link them down below. Let's see if I can do this with my brace on. Um, I did not like, I hurt myself, but I didn't hurt myself. I have carpal tunnel. If you're new, I cut hair. Um, I didn't, it flared up. I fell asleep like with my wrist about like this last week and obviously doing hair exacerbates it a little bit. And then it was feeling better and then I heard it again today just playing with the kids so I have to wear the brace in the evening eventually I will probably have to have surgery I did IT and electrical when I was in the Navy so I think it's from that as I said I had carpal tunnel before I even started doing hair so every once in a while it flares up and then it's been a long time since it's flared up and I could not find my brace. I had put it in a box, so I had to buy a new one. So, oh, I didn't get all the tape, we're almost there. But yeah, it's around 35. Again, I will link it down below. The products seem like they're pretty good, so. And they do spoilers, so if you follow them on Instagram, you can see what's in the box. And then I think if you go on their website too, like this is, Bare Essentials, and I think that's the palette, and we get, I think there's brushes, a brush cleaner, some other things, but here's the card, and then they do include the prices, because you can go on their website and buy the stuff individually, so there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so maybe I'm thinking it's at least seven items. It depends on the pricing of each, I think. I, said, I will link it down below. I am new to this box. So I just know it's it's a pretty good amount of things. And then if I could do basic math, I think you get at least what you're paying for it. I don't know if they, I'm sure it goes over a little bit. So like the first thing in here is a mango face mask. I have one, I think it's a collagen mask that I got. I got a gift card for Massage Envy. Um, the spring carnival at my daughter's school, they were doing raffle, like a silent auction. So I ended up winning a Massage Envy gift card for a facial. So I, it did come with a collagen mask. I have it in my fridge. If you're new here, I have reactions to sheet masks. I think I'm allergic to something that's a preservative, but I have been wanting to try one. It's been a couple of years. So the mango face mask is $3. I like mangoes, so that sounds good. And then there's a lemon one. Let's see, this is a nourishing. It says it's nourishing. And it says they use natural cloth. The ingredient list on here is actually pretty low. So I might put these in the fridge and try and use them. The lemon one says it's brightening. So these are $3 a piece. And again, I think it's nice that everything in here is stuff that you can purchase on their website individually and their price point is pretty low. Let's see, this is a facial roller. I like these kinds of things. I have, a, it's a big metal one that I keep in my fridge. The kids like to use it sometimes. It says you can use this on your face or body. I'm assuming you just, again, put it it looks like it has two different, like you can pop it off and change the attachment, which is cool. What does this go for? I'm trying to 
trying to find it on here. I don't see it. Palette, shadow, sip and fold cup. I don't know if this was an, like a substitute because mine comes so late. So I don't see this on the list, but I like these kinds of things. Oh, here's it. Yeah, you can change it out. Looks like this is the face one and then this three one is meant for the body. So there's some little like pictures. That's cool. I think this was a substitute for something because I get my box so late, which is fine. It looks like it might, they was supposed to be a sip and fold cup. I probably don't have the cup. So I got a facial roller instead, which is fine. Cause I do, like I said, I do like the cold ones. This is a little ring light. So you put it, clip it to your phone. It's got three different clicks. I don't know if this is able to be recharged or if you can put a battery in it, probably not, but it's meant to go on like your phone for like selfies. So that's cute. And this little light retails for $8. I'm assuming this is around the $10 price point, like the cup. So I'm assuming they tried to put in an equal price pointed item, but like I said, I do like this. So this retails for $8. They do sell these. It, called a mini glow but that's you can use it on a mirror too like it's nice for travel because they're small I have a Jeffree Star one that's a little bit bigger it's about the size of this box but they're handy and they do work if you've never used one it does make a difference with taking selfies on your phone let's see this is a diamond shadow retails for five dollars it's heavy let's see I will try and open all this stuff at the end. So there's the diamond shadow. That way you don't have to sit here and watch me for half an hour. Um, this is a iconic gloss in the shade busy. So I'll we'll open that. That retails for $5 also. What are you? This is in the shade suede. I think it's a liquid lipstick. Oh, it is, okay. In the shade suede, again, I will open all the plastic because they're all like sealed. So this is $4. So yeah, like I said, their stuff's really affordable. Um, this is an eyelash cleanser. So I didn't get the actual like cleanser in the container they probably ran out so this place a small amount on to clean fingertips or a cleaning brush gently massage into the lash removing any act oh so like for me I wear falsies so getting the eyelash glue off so this the brush cleaner retails for four so this is probably again around the same price point I would have preferred in this instance to have the brush cleaner because I do use brush cleaner I would have been curious to try theirs but it's okay. Um, the palette is called the Bare Essentials Palette and it is, it is vacuum sealed. So we'll open it here in a second. This palette retails for $16. And I think it has two blushes and two highlighters and then the eyeshadow. I will open it, but there's a little picture of it. And then we got a brush set. And I don't think there's a way for me to go in and like change when it, I have to contact customer service to see if I could get it like billed and shipped earlier in the month. But so far I've not been upset um, to like too upset about what they've substituted. I think they do a good job. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open the plastic because like I said, everything's either like sealed like this or like vacuum sealed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the plastic on it. Yeah, you would not have um, wanted to watch me cut open some of those. I'm actually gonna take out the roller. And I actually, now that I'm looking at the cleanser, because it's probably a good eye makeup remover cleanser too, I'm actually not mad at that because I do have a brush cleaner that I like. So 
I've tried a couple, like I've tried Morphe's and needless to say, um, probably wouldn't like it as well as the one that I have. So this is the body side. So there's that. And then I think you just open the other side. That's nice. You can actually obviously use them either, but I do like this. So that's cool. Very excited about that. Um, the lip gloss in Busy looks like this. It's just a nude. I'm going to smell it. I might keep this. I've been trying to... Oh, it has a nice... Was that lemon? Citrus smell? That's nice. I'm going to swatch a little bit of it. Some of these that are a little more opaque, I do like them um, for videos. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it, if I'm brave enough to wear it out in the wild. It's hard when you get used to having like matte lips, but it has a nice like lemony smell. And then here's the liquid lipstick in suede. I hope this dries down completely. I uh, smells like cupcakes, like vanilla cupcakes. I like this color. It's kind of a red. Like a little bit of a deeper red. Hopefully this dries down all the way. I got rid of most of my Ofra liquid lipsticks as much as I like that formula. I think I only have two or three. They don't dry down completely. And it. I want something that dries down completely and doesn't transfer. But that's pretty. So fingers crossed. And then I think I got a different color than what... Like they show the champagne for the eyeshadow. And I actually got... A different color which I'm not upset about this is in Serena I think if I could hold it closer um, it's pretty it is very pretty I got this really nice blue if I can get my finger in there oh, that, I didn't even dip it in there much and I recommend like if you get one of these keeping the little stopper I got one I think from Ciate it'll keep it from drying out. Mine's still pretty good if I still have it. I, it's something I may have decluttered and I didn't declutter because it dried out, but it definitely helps. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. I'm not upset about that color. It's very pigmented because I still have some on the initial finger. And then what I pulled off of my finger, still going. I'm seeing if it had a smell and now I'm gonna get it all over my desk from where I set the stopper and it stained the table. I'm gonna try and avoid the lipstick. I just don't wanna get glitter all over myself. Let's see if it dries down. Cause if not, I will. There is a base to this because this does not want to come off so you may have some staining but it's very sparkly and it's very pretty again like I said I would recommend keeping the stopper just because it's going to help keep it from drying out yeah I figured that out after the fact when I had that other one now I'm going to have blue all over this poor tablecloth is I need to I got this pink tablecloth that I have down here at Walmart but it's just one of the cheap like plastic ones it is so scratched up I need to look for a like a regular tablecloth at like Goodwill or something. Okay, the brushes. My friend Christine was telling me she thought they felt a little cheap, which I would agree with. Here's the face brushes out of the set. So you get five and then five. So it's a 10 piece set. There's like powder. And these are like what I would consider closer to like travel size. They're smaller. This powder, there's a little blush brush um for me this would be like bronzer cream or powder they're soft uh this would be more like concealer it's just a flat brush and then this for me would be either liquid um bronzer and blush or foundation you could use it for foundation and obviously you could use any of these for any of anything that you want, but that's how I would use them. 
these kind of flatter ones too are nice, like for like powder foundation, like buffing it into the skin. I like these like flat top brushes for that. And then the eye brushes are very lightweight. You've got a little flat, like what I would use like under the eyes or liner. Like this is a little baby flat, like lid, little like pencil brush. This is a pretty like long blending brush. And then you got a smaller brush. Like I'll use these. I'll put them in here with my um, Game Beauty brushes just so that they don't get lost. If I put them in with my other eye brushes, no one will ever see them again. Yeah, the same thing with these. Like these, I may put in one of my travel bags because these are shorter. My cups that I keep my brushes in, like, again, these will go like into the void. But these are nice, like I said, for travel. And that would pretty much, other than would maybe use this for cream. I don't know about foundation. I'd have to try it beforehand, but um, like probably take a couple more eye brushes and another foundation brush and I could get away with just using these for travel. So I'm going to set them over here because I do have to go to Montana for two weeks. So I may take some of those with me. And then here's the cleaner. Um... It's gentle. It's good for removing glue and mascara. So I'm hoping it works for eyeshadow too. And it has a little pump. So I will definitely take this upstairs. And then here is the palette. I actually like this. And I don't mind. I used to not like face and eye palettes. But I actually do not mind them. So again, here's the two blush shades. One a little more orangey peach, and then there's a softer highlight and a more um, shimmery highlight. So mesmerized right there, and then the other one is outshined. So that's just going to give you a little more like glow versus sparkle, and those would look pretty together. And then let's see, there's flirty. And crush and they feel really soft and they're not overly pigmented and you can definitely use either of those for eyeshadow but I do like it's just a neutral palette nothing wrong with it I will keep this these, these are the kinds of colors like if I do eyeshadow for work I tend to keep it a little bit more on the natural side so I will keep this and try this out this is going to go upstairs with me this is going to go upstairs, put those two things over on the other side of the table so I can put them away. And then I might put these in the fridge with the other one. And then this one's going to sit somewhere. I'll put it over there on that table. So yeah, that is everything that I got. Let me know what you guys saw in the little, I put the little light in here. The last box we got last month. We got a light up compact, which is cool. So not mad at that. I like the little little selfie light. I think it's cute. It like I said, it does have a purpose. But yeah, that's everything that I got. Let me know what you thought of this month's box. Again, I will link them down below that way if you want to check out April's and see what they have. Like I said, I ended up signing up at the end of the month, so my boxes will come at the end of the month, but I'm not mad at the substitutions, and the main focus, I think, was the palette. So as long as I end up with the palettes that you're supposed to get, then it doesn't really bother me if they have to substitute other items, but yeah. Oh, let's... I'm getting glitter all over. It seems like that dries down completely. I rubbed on it. Um, I got maybe a tiny bit, but it's not like smearing on my hand. So a little bit of red came off, but it didn't smear that. Um, I ended up getting glitter from the highlighter and the eyeshadow, but yeah. So that seems, let's see how easy it comes off while we're here that's a big test 
So pretty, pretty transfer proof. That's nice. Okay, is it gonna come off? These are like baby wipes, so there's a little bit of baby oil in them. It's generally what I use to take liquid lipstick off, aside from like actual makeup remover. This is one where on my mouth, because I'm having to scrub pretty hard, I would probably go in with actual makeup remover, which I have to for like Jeffree Star's lipsticks. There's a couple others because obviously I don't want to scrub this hard on my hand. My hand is going to be a little bit raw, but at least we know it's transfer proof, which is nice. So I will keep that because definitely don't want a red that's going to move around. I will have to wear it and see how comfortable it is. But like I said it has a nice like vanilla cupcakey smell and there's still a little bit holding on there. I'm going to have to use some makeup remover when I get upstairs. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much. Again, let me know what you thought of this month's box. So far, I am very happy with it. I'm going to try and at least keep it through Christmas because I'm anxious for their like other holiday palettes that they're going to do like for Halloween and Christmas. But yeah, thank you again. I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter and everybody's having a good week. My kids are currently on spring break and it's only Tuesday. So, well, I shouldn't say kids. My six-year-old is on spring break. The two little ones are always home. Um, my hours didn't get reduced, but I'm only working like Thursday. I'm only working on Thursdays now and then every other Saturday. So pray for me for the rest of the week. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day and hopefully I will see you in another video very soon. Bye, everybody.